Hey everyone! I hope you're all doing well. I'm excited to share a tutorial video with you today, where we'll walk through the process of creating a personalized downloadable documentary library website that can increase your exposure and attract more visitors. We'll start by installing plugins on your WordPress site and then move on to setting up and customizing categories. We'll also show you how to install the Elementor page builder on your WordPress platform and apply a visually appealing theme. Lastly, we'll show you how to install essential plugins and use them effectively. And also how to utilize them to create your documentary library. So, let's dive right in and take a tour together. Let's start by getting those necessary plugins installed on your WordPress site. We will begin with Elementor as the foundation of your website. Head over to the dashboard, click on Plugins, and then navigate to the Add New Plugin interface. You've got two options here. First, if you've got the plugin in a RAR file on your computer, you can upload it. Otherwise, you can search for it in the WordPress database. For Elementor, it's already available, so just search for it and hit Install now. Once you've got Elementor set up, let's customize your site with a theme. Click on the Appearance tab, then select Themes. Hit Add New Theme. Like with plugins, you can either upload your own or choose from the database. A good recommendation, especially for WordPress beginners, is the Astra theme. It has a simple and modern look, is mobile-friendly, and is easy to configure. Now, let's talk about something crucial, installing the WP file download and its add-on. A quick heads up, this one's a commercial plugin. I'll drop the link and additional info in the description. To install it, follow a process similar to that of the plugins, but this time, you'll upload the RAR file just like this. After you've completed the installation of all the essential plugins and laid the groundwork for your website, let's shift our focus to the main file download plugin. Within your WP file download main interface, the left-hand section is where you'll manage your categories, while the middle screen displays the files contained within each category. To begin, let's create a new category by clicking on the Add Category button. Alternatively, if you wish to create a subcategory within an existing one, simply right-click on that category and select New Category. Remember, you can always rearrange categories by moving them into one another, so don't worry too much about initial organization. Once you've created and named your category, it's time to upload some files. Click on Select File to upload either a single file or multiple files, or opt to upload an entire folder and populate your category with its contents. After the files are uploaded, you can right-click on each file to access advanced options. Additionally, you can drag files and reorder them as needed. Now, let's put that Elementor page builder we installed earlier to good use. Head over to your Pages section from the dashboard, where you can create a new page or edit an existing one using Elementor. This will bring you to the familiar interface of your page builder. To integrate the WP file download with Elementor, we'll search for WP file download via the search bar and then add it as a block. WP file download comes with three plugins you can add as blocks on your page, category, file, and search engine. Let's focus on the category block and select the one we created in the previous step. Once the category is added to your page, it should appear like this. Alongside some basic file information, you'll notice two buttons attached to each file, Preview and Download. The Preview option allows you to preview the file directly within the page, while the Download button, as the name suggests, enables you to save the file to your local storage. Previewing and downloading files are just the tip of the iceberg regarding what WP File Download can offer. If you return to the main plugin page and right-click on your category, you'll discover a range of advanced options at your fingertips. Selecting Edit Category will open up a new display with detailed settings that warrant your attention. Among these options is the Theme Settings feature. With a choice of five different themes, you can easily change the appearance of your file download plugin when you integrate it into your page. It's a straightforward process, simply select your preferred theme, save the settings, and then head over to your pages to see the results yourself. I'll provide a quick rundown of each theme so you can choose the one that best fits your needs. Another aspect worth exploring within the Edit Category menu is the Permission Settings. By default, the setting is configured for public visibility, meaning anyone who can access your page will be able to view the content of the file download plugin. 
However, if you opt to change it to private or inherited and set a password, visitors to your page will need to fulfill additional requirements to access the files. If they fail to meet these requirements, such as lacking the appropriate roles or being unable to provide the password, access will be denied. This feature adds an extra layer of security to your files, which can be a valuable addition. In addition to the category and file plugins, which provide an interface for visitors to download pre-selected files, the WP File Download Search feature serves another purpose. It functions as a search bar with built-in filters. Using it is straightforward and uncomplicated. Simply enter the name of the file you're searching for. Consider applying additional filters if you have multiple files with the same name. You can narrow your search by specifying which categories the file belongs to or by entering specific dates, such as the creation or upload date. Once you've located the desired file, you can preview and download it like any other plugin block. Very simple, isn't it? It's time for you to try it out on your website. You can get all of this for $69 per year. This includes support services ready to assist you, comprehensive features, and integration with various popular third-party plugins and cloud storage services. Isn't that a great deal? I've included the details of the features and the promo code in the description for you. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And, of course, you'll find all the useful links we've discussed in the description. Have a productive day, bye.